Today we're taking a look at the ERT NKC1 Classic Telecaster. I tried guys, I really did. Welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Gear. My name's Tony. Today we're taking a look at the Ert Classic Telecaster. This model retails for about $469 on Amazon right now. This is the NKC1 model and it is a very nice looking Telecaster, I must say. Today we're gonna go through the review, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons and I'm gonna give you my opinion on a scale from one to 10 on how well this guitar performs. The guitar is a beautiful, well put together guitar. As far as I can see, there is no blemishes, no defects in the paint. Um, it arrived in pristine condition, no scratches, dings, dents, or any kind of defects that I can actually spot on the guitar. So for me, that's a huge thumbs up already because sometimes you don't know how well the guitars will arrive once they get to you. The body on this guitar is made out of a two-piece roasted mahogany. You can see that the front and back are transparent. You can see the grain, which I really like. I think it's a really rich color on this guitar. A nice choice. Sometimes the colors don't always look really good in person. This one looks stunning. What I like about this guitar also is that the front of the guitar has a veneer it's a maple veneer flamed maple you can actually see the flame there beautiful looking veneer and i don't know how they do this guys but there's a, an arm uh tuck rest whatever you want to call this relief on the guitar and the veneer actually goes over that and uh, so there's a break angle here very nice actually and very comfortable i like it a lot and i like what they did a lot of times when you have guitars that have these kind of features with a veneer top they usually spray the body in some kind of a dark sunburst to, f to hide the fact that they can't really go over the brake like this but in this case they figured out how to manufacture that and i like that a lot i think it's a really nice high-end feature now you'll notice right away that the pick guard on this guitar is not a typical Telecaster shape. Normally the Telecaster pickguard will go all the way down here. They actually gave it a little bit of a curve, which I actually like. I'm usually a stickler for these kind of things and pretty picky when something doesn't look right, but I think this actually looks quite nice. What I also like is the fact that it's a three-ply pickguard and they decided not to go with a white color. I think this off-white color looks a lot more rich and works really well with the color of the neck on this guitar. And it also has a really nice tummy tuck here, which I really like on Telecasters. It makes a big difference in the comfort level of the guitar. Beyond that, they actually went a little bit further. I don't know if you can see this very well, but there's also a little bit of a chamfer on the heel to make it slightly less thick at the heel. They also decided to skip the, um, the heel plate here and go directly with four screws that are countersunk. And then they also carved in a nice relief here on the lower horn, which gives it a lot of very high-end features in my opinion, which I really like. I mean, 
it's amazing what they're able to do nowadays for a lot less money than some of the higher end models that are giving you the same kind of features. The bridge itself is made of really nice quality, well chromed metal and it's thick. It's not the cheap thin type bridges that you sometimes see on import models. Bridge saddles here are the tubular type saddles and they do have a channel in them for the string guide so that the strings won't move on you and will be consistent when you're tuning up and playing to pitch. Uh, there's definitely plenty of play in terms of the up and down positioning as well as front and back with these saddles so you should be able to intonate them correctly correctly. Because it is a three saddle design, as you probably know, the three saddle design is not always as easy to intonate as the five independent saddle design is. But if you are careful with it and play around with it just enough, you should be able to dial it in pretty, pretty well. The tone and volume knob look to be very solid. You can see it is very nice quality chrome. I like the fact that the knobs are knurled and they have a nice grip to them. There's nothing here in terms of fancy switching. It's a three-way switch with a volume and a tone. That's it. Straightforward design, but that's what I like with a Telecaster. I like the simplicity of the Telecaster and I'm glad they kept that actually. The pickups are kind of um, no-name brand pickups. I guess they're Ert type pickups that they've put in most of their guitars. But overall, I like the fact that the pickups look like they're good quality. They're installed nicely. I did a slight adjustment and I didn't have to do much. I just lowered the strings a little bit more to my liking and were, was ready to go. The intonation was on and I didn't have any issues with that at all. So I think that was a really good plus as well. This is roasted maple. Looks like it's a nice thin semi-gloss finish both front and back which gives the neck a really smooth feel to it. It's baby smooth, doesn't get sticky. I don't think you'll have any problems playing this guitar in hot environments for people that have like, you know, uh, very sticky palms. It should play like butter and I really do dig the neck for that. The look and the feel so far are really top notch. It is a U-shaped neck, but it is very comfortable, not a big, fat, bulky U-shaped neck at all. It feels quite comfortable. I would almost say that it feels a lot like the neck on my Sir, uh, which is surprising to me because that's probably one of the most comfortable necks I've ever played. And uh, this one feels really, really nice in terms of profile. I can't get over it. Now the other thing that actually reminds me a lot of my Sir guitar is the profile on the headstock. I like it. I like that profile. Um, it's not your standard Telecaster for sure, but I think it works really well with this guitar. The top of the headstock does not have a um, truss rod adjustment here. It's actually down here and it is the wheel type adjustment which I really like. I think that one works really well. You don't need any special tools. They don't tend to get stripped out. They have You have easy access. Overall, I prefer those. And again, when you look at guitars that are less expensive, you tend to see uh, plastic nut, graphite nuts, or you know, just sort of less expensive materials being used for the nut. I'm glad they went with bone. It really does give the guitar an appearance and uh, feel of a more expensive guitar at a less expensive price point. So that's another thumbs up from me. You don't usually get stainless steel frets on less expensive guitars, but it's great to see that Ert has decided to put them on this model. Fantastic, they're gonna last longer. The extra lifespan that you're gonna get with these frets are well worth it. They're beautiful, they're rounded off. I don't know how they do this. I'm pretty sure it's not a manual process because it would take forever. All the individual frets are rounded off beautifully. You'll never have to worry about fret sprout with this guitar uh, because of the way they're installed. And the nibs or the ends of the frets are countersunk in the fretboard and then uh, filled in so that it looks beautiful. It's well done. It's honestly, I haven't seen frets this good, this well polished and rounded off ever. The tuners that are on this guitar are really 
nice tuners. Now the shape is a little bit odd and I at first wasn't sure if I was gonna like them. 25 to one ratio, very nice feeling, smooth action on these uh, tuners, wonderful. So the rest of this guitar is pretty much all Telecaster. In terms of look and feel, it definitely feels like a higher end guitar to me. I'm blown away by the fact that they can put together such a well-built guitar with some really nice features at such an affordable price. So I tried guys, I really tried to find fault with this guitar, but it was really difficult. There's not much that I can complain about the tummy tuck and all the other carves really make it feel like a high-end guitar. I gave the, the guitar a thumbs up for having a bone nut, but if you look very closely at the slots on the bone nut, they're actually cut a little bit too wide, and if they were slightly less wide and less deep, I think it would be top notch. So I'm giving it thumbs up for a bone nut, but I'm giving the uh, workmanship on the nut slots a little bit less of a higher score. A uh, couple of little suggestions to make the guitar better. Although you have a uh, three position switch on the guitar, which is a Telecaster type switch, the actual knob on it is a Stratocaster type knob. I would prefer a Telecaster. Let's go Telecaster, guys. I think it would be nice. I don't see the point of having a, a Stratocaster type thing there. I think it, it distracts from the Telecaster thing. I think these pickups sound very good for a sub $500 guitar, but I think if we upgrade the pickups to a little bit of a higher end set, it would just make this guitar shine and blow away the competition. So that's something you guys over at Earth Guitars might want to consider. Honestly, on a scale from one to 10, I'm giving this guitar an 8.5 and I, I'm just blown away by the value that you're getting on this guitar. And I can't wait to try some of the other models. I've, I've seen a couple of really nice looking Strat designs and I would love to follow this review with one of those as well, just to see how well those guitars perform overall. So thank you for tuning in for this review on this Ert guitar. If you want to get some more information, I'll leave the link to the website below. You can contact them directly and ask all of your questions. Please give me your comments down below and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Addicted to Gear. Stay tuned and keep rocking. There'll be more great guitar reviews right here.